Jerry's the bolt here. It's been a long minute. Living the, the husband life. So you guys, it's been a while since, I've, since I have posted. Reason being, as you can notice, very good quality. Finally got a good camera. I got a lot, <coughs> a lot has happened since my last video. Fight number nine. So that... It's been a while. Yeah, so it's been a while. You're going to your 14th fighter. <laughs> it's been, it's, and the time that I've been, you know, I've been training, I've been fighting. You know, it, <coughs> I knew that boxing was gonna be a bumpy road. And you know, I'm going through it, I'm going through that ride. Um, so you see, we went through fight number 10. You know, fight number 10, it wasn't televised. I do apologize for it. I didn't really have time, you know, to be a TV bout. What a swing bout is, is they usually have you ready from beginning of the show to the end of the show, just in case there's like an early knockout. In that car, there was no early knockout, so I was ready from the beginning of the show all the way to the end. Oh. I remember that a fight. Long time, yeah. I ended up winning, you know, first round knockout. It was a really good fight. That fight, I felt like I felt 100%. You know, I felt like the best shit of my life. For fight number 11 against um, Elias Araujo. <laughs> I have him on Instagram. He's actually a really good guy. This Argentinian fighter, very tough, just putting pressure. You know, we knew it was gonna be a war. I knew he was gonna put pressure, you know, from the start. I was already reaching the, the 10 rounders, but it, I, I don't know what happened in my ninth fight. It was supposed to be a 10 round fight, but I don't know what happened. They ended, it ended up being an eight round fight. Where he had, I believe, 21 wins with like two losses. You know, he had a lot of experience, very risky fight. You know, I had fun in there. I, I, I gotta be honest, I had a lot of fun in there. Very, very good experience. We took the win, so fight number 12. <laughs> See, with this fight, in particular, because you know, I did lose, I did take the L in that fight. I did get knocked down for the very first time in my career. I did get that, I did get knocked down for the very first time in my career. I took that fight as a very good experience. I took that fight as a learning lesson, you know, as you should. Very strong southpaw. You know, that, that guy was strong, he had a lot of experience. I saw he, he went, you know, he went the distance with Ramses uh, Bartholomew, so he had a lot of experience. You know, unfortunately, we took the loss, but you know, we live and we learn. See, the thing with that fight was, um, you know, I did lose, I did lose. I'm not saying that I won the fight, I'm not saying that it could have gone my way, whatever. I could say a million excuses, at the end of the day, it's not gonna change, you know, on box rec, I have a loss. I'm 12 and one, at the end of the day, I can't do anything about it. My managers told me, Al Heyman told me, my coaches told me, my family told me, almost everybody has told me that the decision, you know, could have gone my way, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm gonna take this loss the same way I take my wins, you know, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. I end up fighting, you know, again, I was very blessed. I was very grateful that Al Heyman, PBC, you know, my managers were putting me right after this loss. After the loss, you know, I took a couple days to feel sorry for myself. Right after that, I went back to the drawing board. I started training like nothing. I've dedicated my life to this sport. I've put all things aside. I've dedicated all my time, my love, everything into this, you know, specific lifestyle. I'm not gonna let a loss, you know, tear me down. I'm not gonna let a loss define my future. I'm not gonna let it define my career. At the end of the day, there's greats that have had losses. I was 100% mentally and emotionally. I, I took that week to detox all my feelings and I was excited to be back. Because I ended up getting the call, you know, there's gonna be fight September 20th. It's gonna be a small uh, PBC card. You know, we wanna have you back. Wasn't against you know an easy opponent. This this particular fighter, his, his name was uh, Jairo Lopez. He had a lot of experience, a lot of experience in Mexico. I believe he had titles in Mexico as well. So we were we were against you know a good durable fighter. So I went in there and just I just had fun, man. Honestly, that, that's that's literally all I did. I went in there just had fun and do what I do best. I didn't think about it. I didn't think about the loss. That little bit of fear in the back of my head that. Is saying I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. It's out. I mean, already left. You got the feel loss, for just... for the loss. He weighed in at 142 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 11 wins, no losses, five wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing the undefeated Omar El Relampago.
Huh? Yeah, I'm going to fucking cause and criticize fucking people fighting and shit. Motherfucker don't even like it. I was put. I do take it a little bit back. You have to. You have to. First, I was born. Well, first, you thought I was born. First, I thought we were at the island. Cause, so, like South Park like, Island. Yeah, not that our beach is sucky, but I was looking for blue water, and the water was the same color as the one back at home. So I think nothing yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. The hotel was nice and everything, but then they took us to other another beach or whatever, and that was nice. I see, yeah, so yeah, like, like in pictures, like in movies, like. It was nice. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna have to go back. And boxing wise, how was it? Boxing wise, they sucked. They sucked, really. They sucked <coughs> in, the, in the judging. Plan. Decisions that were off. A few decisions that were not made correctly, <laughs> and they freaking know it. No, I haven't seen it. That's all. Nice. But the relampago was parece como que tiene algo más. Oh yeah, it got ruined in the wash. Oh okay. Sorry, Danny. <laughs> you live and you learn. <laughs> that was fun. Overall, it was fun. I got, it was interesting. I got a memory card for 128 gigs and I got two battery packs. So. Yeah. Hold on. Pues ahorita con estos vatos aquí vas a tener suficiente porque andan a todo lo que da. Well, no, I'm gonna ask him questions about how everything is. Andan. Speak it out of the devil. Ven con friegos de energía por estar encerrados en el avión. Todo el día. How about we eat first, babe? That todo el día. Todo el día. Todo el día. Todo el día. So who's sleeping where and where's sleeping? Yeah. It's okay, yeah, we're Mexican. I'll see. So, uh, Hector is gonna hang from the. I don't know, guys. Hi. You can't really see, to be honest. Can I'm, I'm gonna ask each and every one of you in a bit, like, Bleh. how it went. Alright? My dad, thank you, turn the dress. Hey, you guys remember partner, this guy? He Dr. came out. No, like, go to, go to my, my vlogs in um, the ringside. No, no, the title nationals. The title nationals in 2015. This guy comes up. And obviously, he's not so small anymore, but look, Faven. Oh, we got the whole gang here. The next day. Overall size. What was your what was your intake on Puerto Rico? Like how did you just like it? How was it? It's cool. I mean we went to the beach. The beach is freaking cool. The waves are big. The sand is cool too. The sand, you know, it wasn't even sand. It was like, yeah, well, I've heard it. Going yeah. to post your fight, see what the viewers think. Recorded? I don't even know who recorded it. It was on it was on Facebook Live. I could just screen record it. I'll go ahead and post the fight. So you guys can see whether my brother won or whether he lost. A lot of people said that he won. I believe that he won. Rudy believes that he won. My dad did. Alexa does. There was, there was actually a coach from Puerto Rico said that I, I had won. So coaches from, from Puerto, Puerto Rico Puerto said Rico. that you won. Don Paco asked. Wow. I mean, it is what it is, but what you did win is experience. That's what I was saying. I think the reason they gave it to that guy, one, because I already beat him and it was here. And two. Well, that's, all, that's what I was telling Alexia. It was a rematch, right? Yeah. At the same thing, the Naima did they were up. So since I do not have a date, you know, uh, right now I'm only sparring Tuesdays and Thursdays just to stay active. As far as me sparring, we're going to Philadelphia for I believe four days, so we're gonna save my sparring for that. Don't know if I'm gonna spar tomorrow, but we do take off tomorrow. I think at five in the morning, again in a quick workout, at one of the gyms here. Uh, I actually fought there a couple of times. It's um, the first time I went to 152. Being here in San Antonio brings it brings back so much nostalgia because I used to come here a lot. Man, I remember I, I vlogged about it and everything. But uh, that's where we're gonna train at today. Uh, I know the guys are gonna go ahead and spar, so they're gonna get a, go ahead and get that work in. Let's get it. Man, so much nostalgia. You guys look back in my YouTube channel. I had fought in the OBCs at, for the first time at 152 pounds at this very place. OBCs, I'm not sure what year it was my last OBCs, but I remember winning. I got some money as well, but uh, man, so much nostalgia. Now we're sparring here and we're training here. So it's here, San Fernando Boxing Club. Uh, work so fucking much, my greatest fear is I'ma die alone. Every diamond in my chain, yeah, that's a milestone. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce you to the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Agustin Melendez. 
certified trainer for the New England Patriots. Uh, Augie's been a part of my team. It's fight number five. Augie hasn't been, you know, big help as a part of recovering. You know, I always emphasize on recovery. Recover as hard as you train. Augie always helps me out with everything. Combat sports wins. Bro. And he's one round at a time. So we just finished at the gym. We got to boil the towels. Fajita. We got the boys some ice so they can do an ice bath. Check it out. Ah, Damn, sausage fest <laughs> in here. It's my first time. Hey, hard work and dedication though. Y'all gonna be fresh for Philadelphia. You gotta put your whole hand in. Like that, it looks like You said, let me get a break. Money, <laughs> <laughs> <Hey, bird. laughs> Let me get a break. <laughs> <laughs> Hector, what are you doing, bro? Take a nice Hey, go all the way in, dude. <laughs> You're not looking forward to it or what? Oh. <laughs> you gotta be up and early. Six in the morning, why? The early bird well, why, gets the why, why, why six in the morning? Hey, well, no, that really, that wasn't my fault. That's... Yeah, so we have a flatter at six in the morning. Time to go so put in some work, baby. Yeah, hey, I haven't even packed yet. <laughs> Hector, how was Puerto Rico? How was it for you? Yeah, how was it, buddy? Great. It was great. A lot of beaches. A lot of beaches. <laughs> so you heard him, a lot of beaches. <laughs> you, baby? It was a good experience. Yeah, it was a good experience? Nope. 
Or Turku was awesome. I mean, uh, the place was pretty cool, pretty tropical and everything. But the fights, bro. And it was supposed to be a unanimous decision, and they gave me a split. Yeah. So how was uh, how was Puerto Rico, Moses? How was it for you? It was good. Beautiful beaches as well, just like your brother. He's underwater. How many beaches did you talk to? How was Puerto Rico for you? Well, said. you're gonna repeat yourself, buddy, for the viewers that were watching before and weren't watching then. Well, I heard from a little birdie that you got a little aggressive over there. Yeah, you wanna give us a little story time? Yeah, man, they, they're robbing us, man. So I got one of our officials and I, and I, and I took them over there to, to where all the officials from Puerto Rico were. And I told them, hey, man, whatever you guys want, no, 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 but you know what you said in Spanish. Okay. When you want, I'll give you a Tom Lindsay so you can give them classes. A clinic on how to be good judges in English, subtitled. I, I brought one of our officials and said, hey, whenever you guys want a clinic, we'll send you a clinic over here to, to teach you how to judge. <laughs> and they got really fing pissed off. It was like a novella? Or, yeah, and kind I of. I saw was. all the freaking hassle over there. And <laughs> then I saw your dad just staring. And then the other guy going up, and I was like, oh crap, it's on me. So I get close, and sure enough, it was on both of bodies. And then they called me today, they called me today saying that they had made a mistake on Sebastian's scorecards, so that he won. How do you feel, buddy, about the scorecard being changed? Discrepancy. Whatever. It's whatever. I already knew I won. So oh, yeah? Yeah, and, and I think technically, to me, honestly, it doesn't matter anymore because what's done is done. They did that whole show thing. They raised the other guy's hand, which wasn't right. Everybody knew, even the opponent, even that guy knew that his hand should have been raised, and it was raised. So you can't go back in time and say, oh, you know what, never mind. Dude, why the hell didn't you fix it right then and there? Oh, you know what, let me check real quick. Yeah, like take it back in front of everybody. Now, to me, me? Oh, yeah. It's too late to apologize. Too late to exactly. No, but you know what? Yeah. The judging is different over there. And whatever. And so, I think so, so we're gonna do a show another show. Me and my friend Rolo, another team that we were two teams that went over there. We're gonna do a show in the valley of uh, Texas versus Puerto Rico. So oh, so it's gonna be a like a revenge yeah. rematch kinda. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do that in March. So but we're already on it. Hopefully I can I can get the South Padre Island right Convention Center for that. That'll be good. Also, I was telling the viewers, these gentlemen here, uh, you have them on a somewhat of a, of a tour. Tell well, us about it. A week to Puerto Rico. Got back last night. Start today here. We leave a fire in the morning in Philadelphia for a week. Then we come back, rest three days. Then we go to Vegas for a week to spar. Then we come back, rest of a week. Then we go to Nationals for 10 days. So we got a busy month. Busy month. <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen well that concludes this video just want to appreciate all the support from you guys next episode y'all stay tuned we're gonna be in philadelphia getting in that good work getting in sparring they're gonna be getting ready for nationals i'm gonna be getting ready for my next fight a lot of content coming very very soon so thank you guys so much for watching be sure to smash that like button subscribe for more content and as always stay beautiful stay blessed and i'll catch you all the next peace smash it ah!